If you've watched the video, the other video I put out earlier on, you saw I did a comparison between a Catchy, Bazite, and a Marchi. And Catchy was sort of like the winner in a way, sort of better than Bazite. Anyway, it's a well known fact that Catchy's kernel is really well optimized. Catchy as a whole distribution is really well optimized for games and stuff like that. So now, a while ago, I did a, as part of my game scripts, I allowed you to switch out the kernel to the catchy kernel and it was a bit i don't know it's a bit rudimentary could have done better so i thought i'll isolate it and make a separate app that allows you to switch kernels on a marchie to whatever you want really well whatever i pulled off the thing i mean there's not that many there's a the standard arch kernel there's arch linux zen there's a couple of other weird ones that I didn't really add. But then there's all the catchy kernels, all the different optimizations they've done and all the different versions. And I've done it in a way that's like super safe. You can boot into it and you can get rid of it and you can go back to the normal one and play to your heart's content. Now, I don't know whether this will add huge amounts of FPS to your games, but they're like low latency, they're well optimized, and they're really well documented. You can have a look on the catchy site and, and, and have a look at what they can do for you. So there may be a there may be a kernel there for you yet, when even if you can't live with the stock Amarchi kernel. I mean, I've seen a lot of people try and shoehorn Amarchi over the top of Catchy. Um, that's an interesting way to go. Well, why don't you just use Catchy and switch out the elements? Now, there is another thing to this, which I'm going to cover in another video when I've written the, the code for it. Catchy does lots of optimizations. It's not just the kernel that makes Catchy good. It's the optimizations that go with it, with the operating system. And if you look at the distributions they've got, like the Decky version and all that, there's extra bits in there. So what I'm doing is, I think it's version five, working on another version of the game script to allow you to go into performance mode, which applies as many of the catchy orientated um, um, enhancements before you go into game scope. So that's next on the agenda after this. Anyway, so you can have the catchy kernel, play around with it to your heart's content. And, and then with the next version of the games launcher, that should have performance mode. And that's quite tricky because Intel chips and Ryzen chips have, you know, you've got P states, all these other bits and bobs that the script's going to have to detect to switch into performance mode. And it, well, it's not just the, the states of the chips, but there's the other bits as well about swapping files and stuff. Anyway, so what I'll do, um, what I'm going to do is go through the, the kernel the kernel switcher toy thing that you can play with, show you what you can do with it, show you how to get rid of it, go back to what you want, the normal stuff. And um, then you can play to your heart's content. You've got all the kernels you could ever want to play with and still have the beautiful Amarchi uh, sound on the top of it and do what you want underneath. Anyway, again, with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in Amarchi and the current theme thing I have is themes it is Rosetta it's rather nice bit of a brown thing going on there anyway okay so let's get the script on there so it's really simple to do you need a console well however you do it and then you need file manager and you'd have downloaded the file from the Dropbox link I can't work out Git I've tried I can't do it it's just easy to give you the scripts like this. So just the Git things blow my mind. I've just tried to amend one of my own scripts on Git and it's been disallowed. I don't know how that works. Someone needs to take, some grown-ups need to step in with my script management at Git. Anyway, so the script's called OKM, Amarchi Kernel Manager. It was easier to write OKM than it was to type that out. So that's literally why that's like that. You can sort of see the kind of guy I am. I like acronyms way with military for you. Acronyms are much better. Anyway, so to make it um, runnable, plus X, CMOD, change permissions, and then you run it. Now I've already installed it, so it shouldn't do much, but it isn't a huge script. Update it, yes. Password, yes. Now it says launch it now, just ignore that. You can run it from command line, but but why would you? Click no. Okay, so that's gone. Let's get rid of those. Now, because I, I was going to build it in as a menu, as a menu thing, but I can't work out how to do the icons. And frankly, anything to get away from using 
mice in there just to do something quick and you've got loads of keys you can do this with so it's basically it's on a key binding of super shift k for kernel okay so there you go so what you can do is you can view the first the first you've got some selectors here and the first one is view current kernel status so currently i've got the base arch installed and it's always saying to you that the base Linux kernel that comes with the Arch is protected, never gets, you can't remove it, obviously. And then, and then there's nothing else in there. So, okay. So what you can do is then you can install all the other kernels. And I'll zoom down this on the screen. There's loads. So you've got Linux, Linux LTS, Linux hardened. I don't even know what that does. So security focused. And then you've got Linux Zen. But then you've got all the catchy kernels, ball, the base one that goes in, the deckified one, all of them to choose from to play with. So let's just put the Zen low latency one on there. First of all, you press enter, press yes, and then that will install. Now, I don't recommend putting loads on at once. I don't get lazy, keep loading them in. But I mean, I just like put one on. You can put more than one on. Um, as you'll see, they come up in the menu thing at the beginning. But I maybe put one on, have a play with it, see how you feel. You can always get rid of it. But I would say this: if they do a major update with Amachi, I and I wouldn't do the update. I'd revert back to your base kernel before you do an update. There is a weird thing that happens with updating. I show you; it's not a problem, but it just does. It says you've got a new kernel anyway. We'll go through that in a second. So it's doing its update here. Come on, and it's going through the last bit. Six bit time. Okay, and it's done. So install, when you go to installed, now you can see it's now got that one has come up as installed. So let's come out of this, reboot, and go into that kernel. Okay, so that one, my screen's going to go weird. Bear with me. Some strange Chinese lettering came up there, and we see no signal. That's obviously what no signal means in Chinese. Here we go. I'll come back up and you get the the boot picker type thing here. What if it's boot picker? There it is. So Linux is N. Select that. We go back in. And when it does its thing. You, that is my pass. This is my test machine. I don't, I mean, it's like it's the easiest, all my passwords on the test machines are like one word because I wipe these things every day. Okay, we're back in again. And now if we launch Super Shift K, view current install kernel is Linux Zen, other ones protected. And to continue, so if we wanted to put the catchy kernel on, I'm, so I don't recommend doing loads of them, but I mean, let's put the catchy ball kernel on there as well. Q. I'll download. I'm not sure how it works with mix and matching these actually. So this may not work. I mean, but I just put one, test it, take it off. You know, it doesn't, you can see how quick this is. It just takes the time to download the kernel. And then I'll show you what happens when you do a system update because it's a bit, bit of a weird thing. Not weird, but it, it, it just asks you to do an update at the end, but we'll get there in a second. So let's put the ball kernel on there. And then what you can do, obviously, you can test this out to see if you get any latency improvements, performance improvements. I've been playing with it, and I don't think, I think there's more, obviously, catch you, there's more tweaks that need to be done to the system to get maximum performance out of a Marchi to sort of bring it up at anywhere near Catchy's performance levels. But that's coming in another video. We're going to do that. Okay, so that's done. So install, manage kernels, let's have a look what we've got. We've got... There is Catchy's installed and the Zen's installed and the current kernel is Zen. So let's just sorry, enter to continue and we want to exit. And then we want to come out of this. Let's restart. We have some more weird letters, Chinese letters on the screen. And then we'll boot back into Catchy and then we'll remove them. Hopefully this will work. So I'm watching the laptop down here. It's got a, it's got my screen on. There you go. So let's boot Linux cat, Linux catchy ball kernel. Now, I mean, this is a totally experimental script, by the way. I don't want anybody um, going. This blew my machine up. 
I mean, all my scripts are like experiment, aren't they? I mean, they work for me. I mean, if they if you don't put the sort of production machine or anything you care about, that's that's not good. What's happened here? Here we go. Oh, it's back. Okay, we're back. Let's go in and have a look. We've got a super shift K. View current kernel status. I'm running catchy ball kernel. There we go. So if you want to remove them, really, really simple. You just press reverse to stock and clean up. Now you've got these two arrows here. You want to press X. There's tiny just here. You can see the commands or well, control A to select all X. So both of those selected. Now I'm going to remove them and just password. Now it should just trundle through and remove both those cards. And when we reboot for the last time, you'll see they're not there. But I have to install another one quickly for you as well, because I need to show you that's an exit. Reboot. I have to store, put another one back on. I have to show what happens when you do an update. Should have done that just then, really, shouldn't I? Anyway, it's not taking ages. We all now know what no signal in Chinese means. I hope that's coming up on the. I'm going to sound like an idiot if that's not coming up on the, the recording. Here we go. We've got no other kernel. So just go to Linux again. Taking its time. Here we go. No signal back. Right, here we go. Super ship K. <laughs> you can't kernel, nothing installed, and that's the base kernel. Enter. So what we do is just put one more back on. So we're going to put on where is it? That decky kernel. Catch OS deckify. Don't know what that does. But that's their deck version. Don't know. Hope it works. I'm sure it will. I mean, I don't it's got some if you have a look on the catchy website, I'm sure catchy. Wiki is brilliant. They're going to have tons of different explanations to what all these kernels actually do without installing them willy-nilly. So just, just do this. Keeps track of every kernel. Yeah, like I said, there are a lot of other tweaks we need to do to get this, to get the performance up on a March sheet. I mean, I'm not, the, the reason I'm doing all this is because I'm not stepping away from a desktop like this. I mean, I've, Battle with KDE, Gnome's a disaster, XFE, whatever, Sway, ah. But I mean, they've all got the thing, I like this, and I've moved over to this for Linux, so I'm going to put some effort into developing, you know, developing stuff for it to make my life easier on here, enter, and then exit. So now what I'll do is we'll reboot the last time, and I'll show you what happens with the update. So super shift, and then restart. Yeah, so, you know, I really like it, the way it works, the keyboard-driven stuff. I've said this a billion times. It just works for me, not for others, because they're so used to dragging the mouse around, but it is weird. When I use my Mac, which is there, it's so slow. And I was trying to do some coding on it the other day. Here we go. Let's go into the Deckify version. I was trying to do some coding on it, and I just, I had to position all the windows all over the place. I know this sort of Windows managers you can get for this, but I just can't be bothered. This is there and built in. And every revision they do, they add even cooler features. You know, David, DHH, who's behind this really is paying attention to the aesthetics that really matters to some people people like me I, I really like things that look great so okay so here we are let's just bring that up super shift k view kernel and i've got the deckify kernel running enter exit now let's do system update you'll see what i mean like if i click amarchi continue with update q and i'm running on a different kernel it will come up with this and it does it every time, but you don't need to. OK, so it, it's like click no, but you will get that. You'll get your updates, but you'll get that every single time you do an update because there, there's, there's a, a foreign kernel installed. Anyway, there you go. So you know, let's just go back to that. There it is. You must switch over to me. Wrong mouse. There, right. OK, great. So. Uh, Great toy. Have a play with that. If it blows your system up, don't blame me. Um, but obviously, it's one step closer to getting like as much performance out of a March as we feasibly can. 
there's a few more things as i said at the beginning there's a few more things to do with this to make sure it's like fully performance modes and stuff like that with power states and all sorts of weird and wonderful things not that they always you know they will they'll make that much difference but you know it, it would be nice to have an operating system that does it all that looks great uh, and you know has the aesthetics of a marchi and all that sort of business is easy to use like a marchi for me anyway um but also has a performance all the performance you can get out of it i mean it's art isn't it so you should be able to squeeze every drop out of the this the hardware anyway there you go the links in the description to um to the script as usual you know safety not guaranteed it, I, I have no idea what that will do to your system but have a play with it it looks pretty safe to me i've been playing with it most of the day now testing games and stuff and you they're smoother i can't really see huge frame improvements but who knows someone else may be well than different setup than i've got anyway as usual thanks for watching